Hello there. This is John Anthony Francis Wilcox, and these are six awesome songs from the Midnight Special. And before we get into these six awesome songs, uh, the links to them are found in the comments section below this video. You good? Good. So the Midnight Special was a show from the 70s and I don't know, I guess it must have made it to the early 80s, I believe, maybe <coughs> just a little bit. And uh, it was on, as I best recall, Friday nights on NBC and through not its entirety, but through the majority of its time, it was live performances. And the six songs I've chosen here are all live performances. Later on, I think they got more into like some lip syncing stuff and crap like that. So, I mean, not, there's, there's a place for uh, lip sync stuff, but it shouldn't be on a, a show trying to tell you they're doing live performances. Okay? We good? We, we, you with me on that? And by the way, I'm wearing... I'm wearing a, a pretty grubocious shirt right now because I am filming this almost two in the morning on Thanksgiving night. Uh, that is the night after Thanksgiving, not the night preceding Thanksgiving. So I've had a long day of cooking and eating and all that kind of stuff. So onwards. We're going to start with song number one, which is Tell Me Something Good from Rufus. Uh, this song was where I started my lifelong love affair with the great Chaka Khan, um, who I got to, to I had the privilege of seeing live in '84. But this is the beginning for Rufus. Uh, Tell me something good was the first song I ever heard uh, them do, and her voice immediately I was like, "What?" And then I saw her, and she's gorgeous, and I was like, "What?" So. John's young heart was smitten, and they're just good. So this is a really nice performance. Chaka does a wonderful vocal on it, and the band are, are smoking. So I, I think you're going to enjoy it. So I'm gonna, I hope you're going to enjoy it. I didn't go, oh, let me put together six songs they will despise. Although maybe that's a thought for some future one, you know. It would all be Billy Joel stuff. Oh, wait, no, that would be stuff I would uh, despise. So anyway, uh, that's song number one, Tell Me Something Good, from Rufus. Song number two is Dancing in the Moonlight from King Harvest, which tells you it had to be either 73 or 74, because that's about the time that came out. And I don't recall them ever going on to any further or anything. I feel like some of the people might have left and went into other bands. I'm not quite sure. But I always thought it had a great kind of summery feel. You know, the vocal's very strong and it just has that nice keyboard going on there. It's a nice guitar as well, I've got to say, and the harmonies. Um, in fact, there was a point when I had, uh, in the early 2000s, mid 2000s I should say um, I was playing in a band called the Michael Corleone Love Cult and uh, for a brief time we did this a couple of times because I just liked the melody and I, I sang it and we had fun we did a more guitar based arrangement and it was cool but this is the real deal the Holly Field this is the original goods this is song number two King Harvest doing Dancing in the Moonlight. Song number three is Free Ride from the Edgar Winter Group. Uh, I've probably told the story over the years that most folks know, unless they don't, that in the early days of Edgar Winter's White Trash, my cousin Georgie Sheck was Edgar's bass player. So, you know, I... I Learned of the band early on. Always good stuff. Uh, this song is from a lineup with, I believe, Rick Derringer's in this, along with Dan Hartman and uh, the other two guys, 
and, and Edgar. I can't think of, is it Chuck Ruff on drums maybe? <clears throat> but stellar band and a great performance. Edgar, he never disappoints. Um, so this was from their wonderful album, They Only Come Out at Night, that had Frankenstein on it and this free ride it had autumn and we all had a real good time and just all these fantastic songs um so this is song number three free ride from the edgar winter group oh do enjoy it so for song number four it's um here in heaven from sparks a song about a guy looking down on heaven on his girl who basically um, sent him to his death. Um, and he's kind of like saying, you know, he's, he's looking down waiting for her turn. But uh, an interesting piece. Sparks are a wonderful band. I first saw them to the best of my recollection on the old Don Kirshner's rock concert doing their song um, Talent is an Asset which is a song about Albert Einstein um, and this one's not but it's from their same album Kimono My House which came out in 74 brilliant album uh, this version seems to me like it's a little longer than the album version which is fine by me uh, with the, the male brothers, M-A-E-L, uh, Russell and Ron. Russell being the lead singer, Ron being the keyboard player. And um, I believe this still had Dinky Diamond on drums and Martin Gordon on bass, and I can't think of the guitarist name, but it, I think it starts with a T, unless it doesn't. Um, great twisted song, wonderful melody, and... Uh, it's just there for you to enjoy. Song number four, Here in Heaven from Sparks. And song number five is One Way or Another from Blondie. And a uh, song from their Parallel Lines album. And I know I did a six songs from Parallel Lines fairly recently. But as I was researching this and going through all the different live performances, this one just grabbed me. And I just thought that the band was pretty cooking and Debbie Harry did a great vocal on it. Just absolutely swell vocal. And um, it's peachy keen. Um, Blondie had a lot of hits over the years, but I don't think they ever topped the Parallel Lines album. I mean, I got known for having Heart of Glass on it. But I love one way or another and hanging on the telephone 1159 all that um kind of good stuff so this one is some i'm gonna it's that voice good stuff enjoy that good stuff it's some good rock and roll and uh that is song number five one way or another from blondie and we finish up with Gene Genie from David Bowie. What a performance. David playing some fine harmonica, Mick Ronson on guitar. You know, is it, um, might have been Trevor Boulder on, on bass, who I met years later when he had played in Uriah Heep. And I don't remember who Bowie's drummer was at the time. But a, a great performance from again that 73 74 era you know he clearly has the Aladdin Sane haircut and uh, and that wonderful shirt with the hands on it you'll see what I'm talking about and uh, it's a it's I think it's the longest performance on here too but um, it's worth your time Gene Genie from David Bowie song number six and it finishes out six Absolutely. What did I call them? Awesome. Yes, they're awesome songs from the Midnight Special. Now, friends of mine will doubtlessly, doubtlessly, 
will, I'm sure, get in touch with me and say, how come you didn't put the Genesis or King Crimson performances from the Midnight Special that they've recently remastered and put up there? Because I didn't this time. I wanted to do more, I don't know, it's a thematic thing. It's a little more mainstreamy than I would have, you know, done with those eras of those bands. So that's the story behind that, in case you're wondering, Rob. Um, but anyway, give them all a look and a listen. Always good to hear live music. It refreshes the soul. And uh, I love you all, and I will see you next time. I hope you all had wonderful Thanksgivings, by the way. And uh, bye-bye.